Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your truly tech hook okay, and welcome to the very first edition of News Ash for this week. Happy Monday to everybody out there. Now, the stories are as follows today. We do know that Dino Ranaka has actually cut ties with a certain radio station right now. Plus, Jamie Foxx getting better, Kiki moving out the house, a collab between Thoss and Maglera Dope Boy. Definitely looking forward to that. Comes at a small doing amazing things with Drake and the dopest collab right now for hip hop, Casper and Sprite. Aight, let's go. <laughs> First story for today is all about you know Ranaka. You guys do know, I think two months ago, at some point in time, we did actually, um, you know, come forward and said that uh, she came forward saying that she actually needed a break from everything that she's been going through. She had a mental breakdown, and on top of that, the radio station did actually give her leave. Now. Right now, just a day ago, the radio station released that they've actually cut ties with her. And obviously, you know, they've actually wished her all the best in her endeavors. For all those who follow her, she also did say this. She did actually confirm this as well. And she's getting into new things and all the best to her, man. At least, one na bete yerele moya hai oba So, a big shout out to that, man. Now, Jamie Foxx, another person that's getting better is Jamie Foxx right now. Uh, just two months ago, we actually literally said that um, he was in critical condition, was in hospital. A lot of people said that he had a stroke. People were just going, you know, gaga over the fact that he was sick. And some people thought that he's really really, really um, you know, sick in regards to, you know, but however, his family has uh, come out and said that, look, he's doing good. Plus, there's a video right now on social media that's like literally making rounds and he's just waving at his fans, letting people know that he's actually good, blowing people kisses and that's what we definitely love to see. Now, one thing that I don't like to see is, you know, people separating. And I mean, we do know that Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy have actually separated due to the fact that, you know, that video that made up, like, like it literally caused a huge uproar in regards to what a husband should be, what a baby daddy should be, but she, apparently she's actually moved out of the house due to the fact that, you know, she just feels that maybe she needs space. And I just I just pray that they actually sort this out then because we're taking over that separation in Lingwana, Lerato, and yet they can bring our gas to the lottery by Tangmara. Every Ratang Yon, okay, M. Panaka, we do know that Doss and McLera Dope Boy have actually uh, said that they are literally, you know, are working on some music. It might be an EP, but so far it's definitely a song. And yes, we are definitely looking forward to that. Now, Another thing that I'm looking forward to is talking about this right here, man. At some point in time, a lot of people were actually saying that Cubs at a Small is stagnant. Cubs at a Small just wants to work in South Africa and doesn't want to work with other artists. But right now, you know, uh, Drizzy Drake, Mr. Aubrey Graham, released, you know, everything in regards to the tour that will be, will be coming up and the, the tour that is actually busy with right now. And um, it seems like in addition to all the producers, Cubs are Morta. Cabello Morta. Cubs are the Small. Mr. Piano Hub, King of Piano, is involved in that, and that's so amazing, man. It's great news. And I think also for the frontier for piano, it just shows that people are definitely moving forward in regards to working with other artists. It might do it silently, but it's actually great, man. Now, a great thing is the fact that MTV Base is always involved and is always part of the pulse of the hip-hop culture, Mumzan Panak. And what better way to let you know that Caddy and Shamiso were actually out there in the streets with Sprite and Casper on your vest. All right, check this out. Yo, so hip hop was crying and Lumlight heard your cry. They say we're gonna give you an event that represents the arts, the music, and the culture. And guess what? We're here to witness everything. Why are we still here? Let's get this party started. Let's see what's happening. Come on. So let's talk about the song that you did with Wine, the inspiration, and how was the feel of doing the song? Me and Ali sat down and did the beat, and um, I, I, I just got on the mic and said these things. I didn't write a lot of it. It was just things that were on my mind. I hadn't made music in a long time. That's the other thing. So um, it's a very special song to me because I got to like open up, and that's what ended up uh, opening, him up, opening me up to start writing an album. Man, what a vibe we came, we saw, we conquered. Lumlight was like, oh, Nikumbuli hip hop. Well, they gave us exactly that. It was a super lit night. Otherwise, if you're not here, you missed out on a lot. From your boy CAWD, I pronounce Kerry. I'm out of here. You guys already know, baby, just like that, right? So, I know something people just want to say, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm every day. Every day. Monday to Sunday. Bloody hell. I'm out of here. <laughs>